Welcome back to Chats TV. I am Samantha Tierra, and as always, we are back here. We have another very live exclusive. I am here with Mr. Darren Henson. We are in Chicago. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Okay, so tonight kicks off If She Only Knew. Let's talk a little bit about your character and who you play, and what can the audience expect tonight? Actually, I play a character in If She Only Knew that I've never done before. He's a substance abuser. He has dibbed and dabbed uh, for many years in heroin, alcohol, cocaine. Um, he was a troubled youth, uh, and he has five years of sobriety right now, and he has to move back in with his brother because he's in between, and he and his wife move in, and it's not always so comfortable when that happens. And his brother and, and, and my character have turmoil still from childhood, like most people, so he, He's working it out, but there's a chain of events that happened that he ultimately turns back into his old ways. And we see his suffering and his pain through it. Do you not remember the last five years that it took you to get clean the last time? See, this is, no, no, this is exactly why Pop stayed on you the way he did. This, Pop, our father, the practice preacher, The one that cheated on my every chance he got, the one that beat us, all of us, including mom, and then he the Bible to make himself feel good about it, that pops. Wow, so that seems really deep. So being that you're playing such a character that is going through such deep emotional things, how does that, as an actor, how does that make you feel to know that you have to portray that on stage? Well, that's the job of an actor. It's to embody the emotion and redistribute it in front of the audience. That's, that's the job. That's the gig. That's the work. It's being able to send an audience on an emotional roller coaster because you're telling the truth about something um, and someone somewhere in this world has gone through. And so the ability to do that, it takes a lot of exercise emotionally. You have to emotionally exercise yourself. So, you know, I, I stay getting fit. Wow, nice. So what can the audience expect from you overall tonight as far as the energy? Is there anything, anything that you can kind of give away a little bit that might shock us about you based off of what, we, what we're used to seeing you do as far as being on stage and on camera? For those people who are probably watching this telecast, I say next time, make sure you show up and get your ticket. <laughs> okay, so last question. What do you have going on next? After this production, what is next for you as an actor? I have a feature film coming out called Zulu Wedding. I have another film coming out called The Caretaker, which is a, a heavy drama. And then a, another film, which is a war film called Submission. And then a church styled film, which is called uh, Choir Director. So all of those kind of will trickle out by mid-year to end of 2017, moving into 2018. Wow, so you've got a busy year ahead of you, which is good. That's good. So congratulations on that. And then last thing, how can fans stay in contact with you on social media to see what you got going on? My website is DarrenHenson.com, and that's D-A-R-R-I-N-H-E-N-S-O-N.com. And you can get my book on there, Ain't That the Truth or Intimate Thoughts in the Spirit of Change. Very, very powerful, empowering book. A lot of women love that book. My social networks are Instagram, I am Darren D. Henson. Twitter is Mr. D. Hen. And Facebook is Darren DeWitt Henson. Thank you so much. Again, we want to thank you so much for taking time out. Good luck tonight. I'm excited to see the show. I'm excited to get your book as well. I can't wait. So thank you, uh, Darren Henson. So we had another live chats TV exclusive. Stay tuned. I'm Coolio with the flow, and you're checking out checks. You know what I'm saying? That's how we check in the day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, whenever I'm in Indianapolis, I watch chats and I read the recorder. See, reading is fundamental. You should too. Peace. What's up, y'all? It's Free from 106 in Park, and you are watching chats. Hold it down, y'all. Yo, what's up? I go by the name of Jam Master J. DJ R U N. DMC in a place to be. Together we are run, run DMC. DMC, and you're watching chats. Please. This is Roy Jones Jr., and you're watching me on chats, all right? Hi, I'm Monica Calhoun, and you're watching Chats. Hey there, I'm James LaShure, and you're watching me on Chats. Y'all hanging out with Chats, man. Yo, 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 this is MC Light. Right about now, you're checking out Chats.
Yo, what's up? This is Nick Cannon, and you watching me on chats. You know, it got so hot in here, I had to take off all my clothes and stuff. So I'm here naked and enjoying myself. But y'all be good, and you know, have fun. We holding it down. One love. Stay tuned for more chats. Peace. Chats TV, we have another very live exclusive. We are back. We actually just had the opportunity to see if she only knew. It was an amazing production. So, Makita, how does it feel to, you know, now have one show under wraps? How does that feel for you? Uh, it feels really good. I'm glad it's out of the way. Um, I think I can s change anything I need to change for tomorrow. Um, and so it'll be great. And how about you? How did you feel about the first show tonight? How was the energy for you? You know, whenever I'm in a show, I, I can't really think about it because I'm in it. So the audience tells us exactly, you know, where they are on the roller coaster. And uh, I'm emotionally exhausted right now. So if that means anything. Yeah. So that basically means you put in a lot of good work tonight. You did a wonderful job. Your monologues was very on point. Uh, the audience, uh, the audience definitely felt your energy on the stage. So I definitely saw that. Uh, Makita, you've done a lot. You know, you've done Color Purple. You've done The Wiz. Um, you're even about to do a film. So for you to now have the opportunity to kind of come back into theater to work with John Ruffin, Darren Henson, and a lot of the other great cast members. How does that feel for you? Uh, it feels wonderful. It feels like I'm at home. Um, this is usually what I do is plays. Um, and it feels so good to have um, him playing opposite, him and Christian playing opposite. Um, it, I believe it's helping me become a better actor, just being around people that um, know more than me. And, you know, are, he's very down to earth and gives nuggets. Um, and he's very sweet and makes you feel really comfortable. So. Yeah, so she actually brought up a good point that I want to ask. If you could, you know, give her some words of, you know, wisdom or some advice and she's trying to, you know, get on the level with you, what kind of advice would you give her? I would say the most important thing is to tell the truth. As a vocalist, she's amazing. <laughs> tells her truth as a vocalist and, and acting is, is primarily the same. You just have to tell the truth about the character. So a lot of times you have to expose yourself um, in order to play characters because real acting is not acting at all. Um, it's, it's, it's being truthful and sometimes not, not everything is funny and, and not everything is fun to do, but to discover a character and the need from a character is what we want to um, distribute on stage. Oh, Makeda, did you hear that? Yes, I did. That was excellently put. <laughs> uh, Makeda, last thing before we let you go, what do you have coming up next? Um, I have a film called The Prize that actually stars October London, I'm Anil Nowak and myself. Um, and I have, I'm reprising in the play Maggie in Indianapolis. That's for AIDS prevention. And then I'll be doing um, Till Death Do Us Part in August. And that's for domestic violence awareness. All right. And then lastly, because um, I know we asked you a little bit earlier, you know, what you've got going on and you have a lot going on. Where can people follow you on social media to kind of stay in contact with you about things you have coming up? Well, you can find me on Facebook, Makita Ising Greer. That's E-Y-E-S-I-N-G Greer. Um, and then Makita Greer is my artist page. All right. So again, you heard it here first. We had a live chats TV exclusive. Makita Greer, Darren Henson. Stay tuned.